Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for Friday, April the 8th, 2016. This is a live intraday chart of the U.S. dollar futures contract. The week has been extremely choppy and pretty much insane price action all across the board in many markets, which we'll get to in a second. I wanted to show you, though, the weakening extended process of the U.S. dollar. And over time, throughout the week, the market tried to retrace a little bit only to collapse and take out the prior week's low. And as you can see now, we're trading at 94.26. If we accelerate the selling into the close today, that's going to put us right here toward the bottom uh, half of this Kumo cloud. A close below this Kumo cloud it will set up a strengthening process for this decline and we could quickly get back into the long-term support zone of 88. So that would be a heck of a move, but that is what is in the cards right now as the euro continues to strengthen. Uh, the U.S. dollar is in a powerful downtrend and the euro is in a powerful uptrend. As long as the euro can close above the 114 handle today, that 114 should show and prove to be strong support moving forward as the euro makes its way to 115 up toward the 120 122 price range all right taking a look now at um, the metals let's see here let's take a look at gold first all right so taking a look at the gold chart here uh, as you can see the markets uh, powering up now here uh, for the weekly trying to get uh, a push above the 20 I'm sorry the 1244 handle a close above the 1244 handle will put and set the stage for higher prices into next week moving uh, closer to that 1300 initial target that uh, we spoke about earlier right now the market has very strong support at 1179.20 and you can see the momentum is starting to turn up taking a look at the silver chart now which has been lagging the gold this week it's been showing itself to be a lot weaker well as you can see now it's finally trying to power up here uh, as we get uh, longer in the day we're at 1537 now markets trying to get a push uh, deeper into the bottom of the Kumo cloud a closing uh, at the bottom of the Kumo cloud could set us up to retest uh, the prior close of 1589 if the market can get up there and close above 1589 that will set the stage for uh, prices to break into the back into the 16 uh, 22 price range and hit our initial target of 17 we'll give it until next week the way the silver has been moving though um, it could take a little bit longer than that but that's what it's, it's looking for right now we have strong support at 1444 right now in the silver market okay now taking a look at the crude oil market which is uh, the real talk of the town we have strong support at 2852 markets trying to power up momentum's turning up uh, but we're still in a well-defined downtrend here all the market uh, managed to do was get a, a close above uh, the short-term moving average right here uh, trading right now and I would say that it's trying to retest uh, and get back up toward the long-term trend line that 44 45 uh, dollar price range um, we fell before and I just see more of the same I think the market's setting up to head lower um, we'll have to wait and see how we finish out for the day but even though it's at $39 now $40 seems to be a very strong ceiling for this market 
uh, the last time we've been up here the market managed to close at 4117 um, three weeks ago and immediately crashed since then and has come all the way down to 3525 so that's quite a, a collapse in price um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what it, you know how we turn from there but just wanted to, to let you know that this even though we're above here we broke out of above the the uh, weekly resistance of 3632 market is strong going into the day here as we get close near the close for Friday that still does not necessarily mean that this market is going to get into the bottom of this Kumo cloud I'm still very doubtful about that uh, I think that all these rallies are going to continue to be sold like we did here last time. So we'll just have to wait and see. And this last time here didn't really get into, get above it like we're doing now, but still it was sold. Rallies tend to be sold heavily in this crude oil market. It's going to take a lot to turn that horse around. All right, let's take a look now at equities. Um, strong word of caution here in the equities. I truly believe that the equities are setting up for a major, major crash. Momentum is starting to turn down here, but look at this. We fell from here, came here, V-shaped recovery, which is rare. Almost, you could say it's like a, um, a double top here. Trend line is still down. And I think we're going to crack below the um, short-term trend line support of 1075 in the E mini. I'm sorry, in the Russell 1075. And once we uh, close below that, I think this market will accelerate and crash below the 995.50 weekly support. And below that, uh, the next support won't be until like 880 or 888, somewhere around there. So. <clears throat> I believe the equities are in trouble and I see that happening on a global scale the algorithms are screaming right now and I see a lot of pressure behind the scenes there's been a little bit of weird price action too when you get into the market depth when you look at the put call ratios a lot of weirdness is happening right now and something doesn't feel right um, from a technical perspective, I see not I see the market going down, but there's something else um, nefarious going on behind the scenes. I can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, this is starting to feel a lot like 2008. That's the only way. I, that's the only thing I have to compare it with. So um, definitely, definitely be careful. And if you're trading the long side temporarily keep your stops tight and take quick profits and always be prepared to go short I see all rallies in the equity markets getting ready to get pounded and I mean hard and fast so just wanted to point that out for you uh, here's the e-mini S&P 500 you just saw the Russell here's the e-mini S&P 500 notice how the Russell is leading uh, right now the S&P 500 managed to get above the Kumo cloud here and above the trend lines um, instead of a cross upward I see a, a I see a situation happening where it like kinda touches it rising and then turns down um, momentum down you have a divergence price going up indicator going down weekly support on the S&P right now is at 1889 and I have to tell you um, I see an acceleration coming based on the nefarious things I've been seeing in the market. Um, this is not normal. If this was if there if things if price action was normal, and all things been equal, I would say, oh, you know, it's a bull market. The market's trying to uh, become a bull market. But no, I think what it's doing is it's actually putting in a head and shoulders situation. We're getting a failed uh, top here. Again, the last top back on November, the week of November the 2nd of 2015, we topped out 
and those rallies every rally got sold here we got sold here we got sold here we got sold here we got sold now it's in a long extension and I think we're about to get sold all right so again nice recovery here but this was stimulus or should I say verbal stimulus the reason the market tried to rally this morning was because people got really happy when they saw the world's greatest cheerleaders the stock market has ever known all together on one stage in a panel discussion you had Yellen, you had Bernanke, you had Greenspan and Volcker with the famous Volcker rule nonsense here you are you have all these talking head cheerleaders of the past talking and cheerleading and propping up the market trying to kick the can down the road a little bit further trying to prevent it since since the 90s when have you ever known a panel discussion like that with all the former uh, Federal Reserve chairs speaking and cheerleading the, the markets you've never seen that before that means that they are very 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 fearful very afraid they're frightened to death that these global markets are about to absolutely give up the ghost that means what you're seeing all of this right here is fake it's fluff and I think the the most powerful collapse correction that you've ever seen is in the works and that's just how it is the markets are in trouble the economy is in trouble no matter what they say you can believe the opposite the president says anyone talking bad about the economy is peddling fiction that's what he said peddling fiction well I'm here to tell you that you're about to see the results of peddling fiction so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered take what you can give nothing back and keep shorting get ready to short this market like you've never shorted it before have a great weekend